I firstly want to thank for this opportunity to uh, to test to say a few words. I happen to be in here just by well lucky chance, so I have not um, anything too sophisticated prepared, but I have ha I have some uh, remarks aside which I would like to share. Uh, well, firstly, uh, teachers in the 21st century, I, are we supposed to cover? the whole 21st century in this question it seems that's to be quite... That's your problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. Well, for me it's quite boring. My answer is, well, I have no clue. Um, but anyway, seeing it from uh, the perspective in Czech Republic, um, because this, uh, this here all the time sounds to be a few steps ahead. Um, firstly, I would like our teachers, um, or actually including myself, to... Um, use digital technology in their lives and to acknowledge its existence also uh, during regular classrooms. And I'm talking especially about teachers um, not related to any computer, uh, computer subjects. So if these all other subjects like Czech language, geography, and so on and so on, if they would accept existence of this technology and they would show sometimes that they have a cell phone, that they have a email or a few and uh, maybe they would get to learn well, actually such a backwards and primitive and ancient thing like Moodle um, we would be much further and that would be a very good start I can't really say that it is for 21st century um, it's rather the 20th but still we are not there yet um, so that would be the step one for us and um, then about the technology itself um, as I'm a computer scientist in the meaning of theoretical computer science, not really concerned that much about computers, despite the name, um, I find tools themselves rather um, not that necessary and not that essential. Uh, but if we are, and now I'm reacting to this very first question, which appeared here um, with the tools of yesterday, hopefully with some better funding they could be the tools of today, Today, teaching, uh, teaching our pupils and students to deal with uh, tomorrow, uh, one of the things which is happening is the change of society, which is fundamental. And this is something we should prepare the pupils for. And it is not only about using the technology, it is about, well, foreseeing the day after tomorrow uh, for them to recognize which technology is of what importance. And. Uh, we here uh, might um, feel a little pressure to get most of out of the recent technology and be skilled uh, with the recent technology. I would like us not to, um, not to forget about our experience from, well, ancient ages when we are using floppy disks or, well, we have seen a few, <laughs> a few <laughs> examples. Um, we are witnesses of the old ages which are unbelievable for, for today's younglings and this is a great opportunity for us to explain better the situation and to give them a feeling of fixed point to, to compare this situation with the situation before and hopefully extrapolate successfully uh, for the future. Um, one of the changes of society uh, regarding school system, um, sometimes a discussion appears in uh, the academia sphere about um, recording, um, recording lectures. And that shows very well which teachers are ready and understanding for the new age and which aren't. Because actually the main concern of those who are uh, denying it is, um, well, but, 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 but then, then I could lose my job. In other words, well, I am walking in that classroom every day, year by year, talking about the same stuff and the pupils, actually, the students actually know that and they would rather download uh, the footage. But they don't find it sick. That's, that's a little strange. I have a question. Who's uh, being given a, or having given a lecture recording of the lecture? What about the others? Why not? <laughs> you don't get pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah.
And the, the other concern of them is um, that some kind of know-how would uh, leak, which I have to say I find, I would rather use the word short-sighted um, these days. So I'm avoiding the question again. Um, it is not about what do they have to know about digital technology itself, but um, its influence and its impacts on their very own jobs and the changes of their jobs, because it can't be anymore that I step up in front of 200 people and talk about something. It's apparently not good enough if it can be recorded and I don't have to be there. And last, thi last thing related, uh, it's more about my subject, so I couldn't miss it. Uh, again, not that much about digital technology, but I believe teachers, um, or actually such as anyone else, should be um, should know something more about computer science itself. Computer science, by the way, and I'm not, I'm not talking about programming, I'm talk, talking about uh, well, science next to programming, including information processing, including efficiency, um, including solving problems in some general ways. Uh, That's been a strong theme that's come out, and I think we might call it computational thinking, that kind of yes. area. Yes. Yeah. And it involves uh, knowledge which um, I believe might be of uh, a growing importance these days because computer science shows us with its uh, results which are well mathematically supported um, about limits which are in computation. And if we want to extrapolate how uh, far digital technology can get, we should perhaps know about the basic bounds and limitations <coughs> which there are and which we well can never uh, never cross. So it could help us um, foresee the day after tomorrow uh, and that's why I think that would be one of the reasons why computational thinking I would consider um, important. Thank you very much.